I felt tears coming and I was dropping and he's like, get up back, dropping, get up back. And uh, cause he's not, well he never say it like that cause he's not Jamaican. I should have got a white trainer. <laughs> I'm joking. I wouldn't want a white trainer for me, you know, the N word or something. <laughs> but the man I said, we get up back. It wasn't being hard. Hard on me, it was just like the exercises were painful, and then me in the back of my mind saying, Oh, I feel worthless, I feel ugly because, like, I really want to look like Jada Kingdom. I think she has the best shape in the universe. I have a lot of people that I like, I look at their bodies and I'm like, Oh, I want to be that. <laughs> so, like, either skinny, but with the you know, those skinny girls, those swim girls that just have a nice shape, figure, or like. Hey there, 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 hey I should have video it. I should have video me breaking down and crying because that would be good content and I'd get a lot of views. I got a lot of views on the exercise video. Like it just blew up so fast and I and I never expected. I know 373 views is not a lot relatively but I'm a small channel and if I get past 100 views I'm blessed. So it's, it got like a hundred views in less than an hour. That's that's crazy to me. So I don't really look like gonna like the exercise content. I'm not gonna do any more exercise content. It's my channel. I'm not gonna make views run one more and do. But I like the engagement. I got lots of comments, and the videos that I expect to blow up relatively aren't the videos. And it's like, what do you guys want? Don't tell me. I I'll make what i want <laughs> yes yeah, so i just was thinking it wasn't anything the trainer was saying to me necessarily because you know we're in a pandora and we seem to forget that we have to remember and take in control of our mental health and we seem to neglect it because we like to ignore things and I will push it off, we'll push it off, we'll push it off. Cause in that moment, all right, let me start from the beginning. So basically, I was doing exercises. I do. We were doing. Um, he put me on the machine. So where I was doing treadmill, bicycle, bicycle, and the stairs. The stairs is a machine that it's like climbing the stairs. So it goes up. It's like it's like an escalator, but not so elevated. It's not like that. It's like stairs with the different um levels i have to like walk so it's like walking on the stairs walking to the stairs like say you're going to a different floor it's like that but like it's like four steps and you just keep and it it go it gets faster at each level so you have one up one to four so i was doing that exercise and he put me on it for like 10 minutes and i was out of birth for like five minutes in or <laughs> past the two minute mark and he's like, you're out of shape. And I'm like, I'm not out of shape. I am beautiful. <laughs> I'm not out of shape. I have like curves. I don't, I'm not out of shape. I'm just a little, you know. And then he asks me what health issues I have. And I say, I, like asthma, for example. Do you have asthma? Do you have any heart conditions? And I'm like, I have a health issues. Just a, it's, it's laziness. That's my health issue. <laughs> He's like, well, we're going to work you today. And he did. <laughs> he did. I was dying for the 10 minutes. <laughs> and then he took me on for the machine and then put me on um, planking. He wanted me to plank for, for a minute. I was like, I can't even plank for like five seconds without dropping. And in that moment, I just felt so worthless. And so, I don't know. I just never feel like myself. So then I started to cry, and it was it wasn't embarrassing. I don't really care because I don't really show emotions that often. So when I do, it's like, is this me? <laughs> so because I think you like you know when you know something, but when you do it yourself, it's like you. So 
so yeah i know emotions are normal and i know it's human to have emotions and i and i don't i know that emotions are not weak but for me crying is seen as weak but i didn't mind it because i I got to be the center of the attention so he was like giving me motivation i was like oh you're beautiful you can do it i was like whenever people start like, motivating me my ear just it falls on deaf ears like i'll just stop listening to you because that's not what i want to hear i just want to get i just wanted to go home so then when i got into that mood uh I did it for 30 seconds. I never do it for a minute. I was I'm not even lying and say, oh, I, after that, I turned into a superhero and I could do every exercise possible. No. I did the plank for 30 seconds and I just got more serious into it because I was just like, I need to go home and why is this man doing this to me? So then I started to do the plank while tears are falling down my eyes. Because, yeah, as I said, I don't think emotions are weak. And... Cause he was telling me to stop crying and that you're better than this don't cry i'm like i have a right to have emotions <laughs> Cause so i know what's right but in my mind what i think isn't it doesn't coincide so that's an issue but like if i cried i, I, I never felt embarrassed i never felt ashamed i was like because we're in america nobody don't care like if i was in jamaica <laughs> If I was in Jamaica, I would be so, like, everybody, no, but Jamaica would be, like, more supportive. They would be like, oh, come, and just make a big scene. And like, oh, come, hush, hush. And I'm like, I wouldn't want that, you know. But then, or the Jamaican would have started laughing. And it, it's, it's, it's so random when it comes to Jamaicans. I can't even tell you what would have happened. But, <laughs> yeah, in that moment, I was just felt weak. I just felt so stupid. But I wasn't embarrassed. And I didn't even care if anybody saw so i was doing that and then he gave me this exercise where i had to catch a ball and squat and as you know that i am very good at sports i used to play netball football no not football i never liked football netball baseball tennis like most sports swimming i used to love sports but i never i wasn't good in track and field so like, anything with like catching and like throwing i'm excellent because i learned how to like curve the hand and throw it and for netball chess one hand and i'm very good at those things i should have never stopped sports i'd be so fit <laughs> but yeah our uh, final exercise is was that like, i catch the ball and squat so i was good at catching but like squat just just feel awkward to me so i was doing those squats and he was like, that's the wrong form. And then I was like, oh, shut up. <laughs> and then I started to take it serious. And then I left. He's like, he's telling me that you can do this. And you're like, you can reach your goal. And all, you know, all the motivations. You're beautiful, whatever, whatever. And I was like, oh, okay. Can I go now? And then when I went downstairs and I left. Did I take the stairs or the elevator? I took the elevator go down. I... I rarely take the stairs when I'm going to the gym. Because, <laughs> like, you're going to exercise anyway. Why Why am I going to take the stairs? So when I went downstairs, I was, like, crying. It's probably on the cameras. I should have videoed it, but I didn't. And I missed the content. <laughs> that would have been good. I would have probably gone viral. But, yeah. It was just an emotional thing for me. And it's just weird to talk about it now. On phone to put it on my youtube channel but i need views and this is the only way i can think of getting views but on a serious note i think it's important for you to not ignore whatever you're feeling and try to get help and try to talk to someone not me you know because i don't know you guys but like your friends and people who actually care about you because the your friends your real friends wouldn't hesitate to help you if you're going through something like you can call them if you don't want if you want to get professional help you can um google certain like hotlines that you can call and try to get like professional help i know therapy is expensive and pe jamaican people don't believe in anything they don't believe in mental health they don't believe in health health physical health but it's not especially in a pandora it is very important that you keep here and your physical health in check because if you're not mentally well to manage what is happening in the world, if you're not physically well to manage what is happening, then I just eat that for you. Just eat that. So mental health is very serious. 
and I don't know why Jamaicans don't take anything serious except for visas but it's important and you need to respect other people's spaces as well don't aggravate people as well be mindful that you're not the only one that's going through something so don't take out your problems on other people that's that's how you see mental health or bad mental health manifesting itself in jamaicans like they take out them anger issues like you go somewhere and the people them start cause the kfc people and you're like why wait how this come up what me i thought about <laughs> hey be safe everybody watching it and be it <laughs> you know the regular thing and take care of one another so bye see you soon ah.